Fact number 10. Corvo. The knife of Chilean commanders. From Spanish, Corvo means curved. It has first been mentioned in literature in the Spanish heroic poem La Araucana, which was printed in 1578. The poem speaks about the Spanish conquest of the Araucana lands, the indigenous Chilean people. Corvo has quite an unconventional blade. Just like many other similar blades from other continents, it takes its beginning from a primitive farming tool. Nevertheless, this primitive instrument is at the disposal of the Chilean special ops and is made by an official state-owned company, FEMI, which speaks to the time-tested functionality of this double-edged knife. Such a strange knife definitely needs special skills in handling it, and the Chilean special ops definitely have these skills. This knife got especially famous after the Battle of Arica on the 7th of June 1880, when the Chilean militaries in hand-to-hand -hand combat, using only the Corvo, destroyed about a thousand of Peruvian defenders. On the ninth place is the knife of the People's Liberation Army of China, Type 65. It's a paratrooper's knife that's included in the set of parachuting equipment and is supplied to the army with a parachute, as a strap cutter knife. But it can be carried separately on various equipment or just on your belt. Based on this knife, there was another one created called Type 84, which was used for the reconnaissance parties. These knives are supplied to the army as separate equipment. The holsters of all these knives are noiseless. They're made of nylon on a metal base and attached to a leather hanger. At the moment, the People's Liberation Army of China gets the paratrooper's knife type 95. The eighth place, Kukri. Kukri is the fighting knife of Gurkhas, the Nepalese Highlander mercenary warriors who has been serving in the British military since the beginning of the 19th century. They were taking part in all their military conflicts, together with Great Britain. And it's thanks to the Gurkhas this knife got popular. They were taking part in the First and Second World Wars in Hong Kong, Malaya, on Borneo, in Cyprus, on the Falkland Islands, in Kosovo, Bosnia and Afghanistan. They were fighting in rifle units, paratroopers, engineering and special forces. They made the Kukri famous all around the world. You can find out more about this legendary knife from a special video of the knife story dedicated to Kukri. I'll leave a link in the end of this video. The seventh place, US Mark I trench knife. During the First World War, the so-called trench knives appear. They played the part of close quarter combat weapon. Back then, among the American soldiers, a combination of brass knuckles and a dagger became very popular. The standard issue knife of 1918, Mark I, French knife. This knife was created by the French knife making company All Lion. It had a cast bronze handle made as a full fledged knuckle duster. It had a double edged dagger blade with flat grinds and sharp on both sides, which allowed for impaling and cutting strikes also. The sheath was made of leather and metal with convenient hangings that allowed for hidden carriage on the back also. It's a serious and multifunctional close quarters weapon that allows to combine the strikes of the handle with thrusting strikes to the opponent. After the end of the First World War, all the Mark I knives were taken to a warehouse where they waited until the beginning of the Second World War. The sixth place, Fairburn Sykes fighting knife the dagger of the military commandos. It is traditionally employed by the royal military commandos even nowadays. Created in the 1930s by ex-military, the British instructor of the commandos in shooting and close quarters combat, William Edward Fairburn and Eric Andrew Sykes. They had the real experience of hand-to-hand -hand combat on the streets of Shanghai, the southern Chinese city, an ex-British colony. The 12-inch blade was based on the decommissioned bayonets from Madford rifles and the spindle-shaped handle was copied from the rapier handle. At the moment, the FS dagger is the symbol of commanders, marines and paratroopers special forces of the Great Britain. The fifth place, Applegate Fairbairn. The AF fighting knife was a logical continuation of the famous commando knife Fairbairn Sykes, which took the previous place of our top chart. 
This knife was developed by Colonel Rex Applegate from the Special Forces of USA and the British Royal Marine Captain William Fairburn, one of the developers of the Fairburn Sykes dagger. Colonel Applegate brought some changes to the Fairburn dagger, which, although its fame was well worth, had some defects. The AF knife got a wider and sturdier blade with a more rounded cross section of the tip, which made it more durable. Besides that, the tang of the blade got much wider and tougher. Another step forward was the use of stainless steel, while the predecessor knife was made at the war times out of plain carbon steel. The biggest change though was made to the handle. It has an oval cross section made out of plastic and is very comfortable to the grip. It's narrowing down to the cross guard, which helps control the blade and eases taking the knife out of the sheath. The cross guard is symmetrical bent towards the blade, which allows for the use of untraditional grips of the knife. And also it minimizes the risk of getting the knife tangled in your clothing. The handle allows for the insertion of various lead weights, which allows every owner of the knife to change its balance according to his style of fighting. All this makes the AF knife a complex and a perfect fighting knife, a worthy successor of the traditions of its predecessor, the FS knife. By the way, the Applegate fighting knife is currently at the disposal of the anti-terrorist division of the special forces of the Federal German Police. The fourth place, Extreme Ratio Falkrom S. Actually, the Extreme Ratio guys have created quite a few military knives, but Falkrom S was one of the most famous. The knife got very reliable. Its blade can bear a point load of up to 150 kilos. The time-tested shape of the Japanese Tanto allows for the long use of the knife in extreme circumstances without deterioration of its cutting qualities. The center of gravity is shifted to the front and the blade is quite heavy, which allows for the effective chopping strikes. The fulcrum has been used as a standard equipment for the Italian army in Afghanistan. It was also a part of the experimental project of the Alpine Headquarters Command aimed at choosing a universal multi-purpose knife for the infantry. Extreme Ratio Fulcrum was so successful in the test that based on this knife the Fulcrum bayonet was created, attached to the gun instead of the hand grip. The third place, Block Fieldmaster 78. In 1977 the Austrian brand Glock got the contract for supplying knives to the Austrian army. Back then, the company was not producing pistols, but was specializing in making various army equipment, like machine gun belts or entrenching shovels. The Glock company knife that got the name Fieldmaster 78 is the field model of 1978, but more often it's just called FM78. It had quite a simple construction, weighed less than its competitors, and was easier to attack to the gear than them. Besides, the shape of the blade was more resistant to breaking, unlike the other knives which were competing with it. Even today, the Glock FM78 knives are widespread and popular in the Special Forces, at least as much as the guns of this Austrian brand. Since 1980, the Glock knives are also used by the Special Forces of the Austrian police. For example, the anti-terrorist group Cobra bought some. Besides, these knives are used in the militaries of Denmark, Argentine and Ukraine. The second place, reconnaissance knife NR-40. It is the most famous melee weapon of the Second World War. This model was very well developed and is still respected by the experts of the fighting knives. It's a dream of every collectioner to have an authentic army knife NR-40 made in 1940. The Soviet Union started making this knife at the Trude factory in Zlatovsk in 1940, after the Red Army faced quite a few of defeats in the Russian-Finnish war from the Puka knife-armed Finnish troops. Most of these knives were made in 1942 and 43, 261 thousandths in 1942 and 388 thousandths in 1943. NR40 became a true legend, is the passion and desire of the collectioners from all around the world. And probably the only worthy competitor is the knife on the first place of our chart. So, the first place, the legendary knife of the American infantry, Kabar. Kabar fighting knives have cult following. Today, under the Kabar brand, 
there's a whole variety of effective modifications of the original model, used widely in hunting and tourism. The Kabar knife was developed by an American military man, John Davis, at the request of the U.S. Marine Corps back in 1942. The U.S. Army needed an effective, reliable melee weapon because the country was at war with the Japanese in the Pacific Ocean. The Marines needed a full-fledged military chopper that would help survive in the circumstances of tropical jungles. This is what Kabar was made for. It came to replace the useless standard bayonets. Later on, the American company United Cutlery started making these serially, and even until 1970, this product was made without any changes or modifications. The Kabar knife, even today, is hugely popular, not just among the collectioners, but among the hunters and the tourists. And this is probably the most popular military knife.